What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today, picking up some uh, new corals, hanging out with my buddy Javier, and as you can see I got a uh, nice chalice right here, he brought me over some Bam Bams, and the reason he came over is to drop off some supplies that I ordered from him, and also because I did an order with Reefer's Garage, uh, it was 11 SPS shipped and um, that's not a bad deal at all um, this is a variety pack never know what you're gonna get but uh, the past couple times that I have ordered from them uh, it's uh, pretty nice this is my third time ordering from them guys so kick back Some more SPS. Ooh, nice. Okay, so I think you have to go first. Well, then you put the coin. No, <laughs> I, yeah, oh, it's all good. I told you. Um, oops. Oh, yeah, the Aquamax flashlight. I think it's called the Coral Eye. <laughs> Got a bunch of frags right here. Run that light on them, man. Ooh. Damn. Whoa. Wait, did they send us like 12? Hold on. Ah, uh, since 11, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been sweet. All right. All right, so if you want to float them in the tank and we'll just go. Yeah, we'll go one, from there. One by one. We have a year here. Split an order from the uh, Reefer's Garage. I need some sticks. I got a perfect place for them, man. I'm telling you, I'm going to put them like right there. Oh, uh, that white rocket back yeah. there? Yeah. I also ordered some. Uh, Epoxy. I ordered epoxy from um, uh, Marine Depot. That uh, stuff you put in the water. Yeah. And it heats up and stuff. It's alright. I got mine here. Well, no, it's in the land of the Zoas. It's alright. Do this. It's beautiful right here. Can't wait to get these in the tank. We're gonna take turns picking. It's gonna be nice. Not bad for 125 shipped. So let's go from there. After taking turns going back and forth, I got five of the SPS variety. Um, I picked up a few nice ones, and we'll see how they do in my tank. I also picked up a nice uh, rainbow chalice from him, and uh, some Bam Bams from the last time when I picked up my uh, Powder Brown. Um, overall, it was a good uh, deal. The packaging was nice, and uh, 125 shipped. Can't really beat that, guys. Also, while I was in the tank, I decided to take this opportunity to go ahead and try to get rid of some Aptasia. You know, I've used Aptasia X, I've used Kalkwasser. They all work to a degree, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use some uh, Dollar General Super Glue, and I'm just gonna super glue these Aptasias. And uh, since this glue is only a dollar, and it's also, I wanna add that it's pretty good for fragging. Um, really, really good. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, super glue these Aptasias it's going to look ugly in the tank, but I don't really care. I, I want to try to get rid of some of these suckers because uh, they stain corals. This is also one of my favorite views, a top-down view. Um, when I did this, I cut off all the flow in order so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm also holding my uh, cell phone on the other hand. And as you can see, um, it's not too bad. I... I uh, like doing it i like the top downs and uh, hopefully this aptasia goes away i was thinking of uh some uh, copper band fish but um i don't know if it's i'm gonna go ahead and try this first see if it works for me and also you can see that i uh, super glued the uh, sps on top i really don't have a lot of sps uh, I, I mean unless you want to count montiporas and things like that uh, mystics things like that but um I hope these suckers grow out, grow out real nice. I wanted something else other than a bird's nest. Um, one of the favorite bird's nests that I do have is the pink bird's nest. But uh, I just hope they grow out. Those and different kinds of uh, digis would be nice to add. And as you can see, I covered up these monster aptasias. They were huge and uh, hopefully they go away. The idea behind super gluing it is to starve them out. I know that they probably released all kinds of spores and things like that, but hopefully they didn't. 
Also, what I did is I've done this before, and I know people might think this is funny, but I printed out a yellow tang. You know, I think that getting the yellow tang is awesome. They're awesome fish, but I th I still believe that they should be one of the last fish to add uh, into the tank because you can see that the yellow tang is most definitely punking out the powder brown. Um, but the powder brown, being that I got him a good size, is holding his own. Um, I was going to actually pull out the yellow tang out of my tank and uh, reintroduce them again later on. But uh, I was told just to leave them alone, leave them in the tank and let them beef it out. But uh, this print on, printout of the yellow tang worked out real good. Um, I know people think it's funny, but uh, trust me guys, it, it does work. Another thing that I did for the powder brown is I introduced them into the tank at night when the lights were a little bit lower. Um, I also started feeding a lot. Um, I had, you know, all kinds of seaweed, uh, nori on both ends of my tank. And I, I fed very heavily um, because, uh, one, I want the fish to continue eating, uh, try to beat any uh, kind of ick or whatever. Um, and um, I know you guys will say, well, the ick is still in the tank, but uh, if you keep them eating, they have a better chance. And so far, my uh, two fish are getting along just fine. So here it is. I wanted to show you the fish, how they're doing. Um, as far as the fish, what I want to do is, you know, I've said it. I think I'm pretty much happy with just having, you know, the powder brown. Uh, I would like to have a uh, purple tang eventually. But I'm not sure that I, I'm, I'll do that. Uh, supposedly purple tangs are bigger dicks than the yellow tangs. Or they have the same uh, temperament. And as you can see, this these two are doing okay. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, tail shoving. The other fish could carry less. It's just the yellow tang that really is the uh, boss of the tank, it seems like. Uh, I love the yellow tang. He's an awesome uh, algae eater. You know, can clean up a frag tank uh, easily if it's dirty but uh just the yellow tang i think the yellow tang should be added last in uh tanks but of course that's just my two cents i'm just showing you uh what's happened to my tank and my fish and what i'm doing uh by no means guys is this uh, a how to you know introduce fish or anything like that um, i'm gonna go ahead and show you some of these corals here um the first thing that i want to show you is the chalice. I tried showing you when I uh, uh, actually got it, but here it is under the uh, blues and all the different colors, and it looks great. Um, this is the reason why I really didn't want any more bird's nest, just because when you get it, it just takes off and it grows really fast. But uh, I want to show you the uh, Reefer's Garage SPS that I picked up. Um, some of them are doing pretty good. Um, I did get another Garf Bonsai. And I'm really happy about that. That Garf Bonsai is uh, purple with the green on it. I had had one before, but um, I killed it. Uh, I killed it during the uh, tank transfer from the 120 over to the uh, 180. And as you can see, some of these uh, SPSs are encrusted on the plugs. Um, and I want to show you this one right here. This is the newest piece that I got. You can't really tell in the video, but it is still alive. It's still doing good. And then uh, shortly after that, I'm going to show you the two that I originally had uh, from the first order with uh, Paul. Um, this one piece right here is like a purple, but as you can see, it has like some green on it. And I'll have to do another top-down view to uh, show you how nice the color it is. But it's growing really good. Um, and uh, hopefully some of these sticks do okay and take off for me. But um, I'm really excited about them. Like I said, it's uh, 125 shipped. I didn't get any freebies or anything like that. Uh, this is just my review. Um, I think it's a great deal for 125 shipped. It used to be $100 shipped, but uh, you know, as everything, everything goes up a little bit, and the price really isn't too bad. But here's my chalice, and uh, really happy about this because uh, it's a good size. Thanks to my buddy Javier for hooking it up. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, tank update. Um, powder brown. I got it with thick, and uh, it's doing good. Um, taking off. I'm going to go ahead and uh, back it up and uh, do a full tank shot. Um, was able to do a cor coral order. 
Uh, there's a few more people that I would like to order. I'd like to order some more from, uh, you know, different vendors out there and uh, get this tank stocked even more. I'm going to also go heavy on the uh, Zoas. Um, I love the Zoas. And then I'm going to give you guys an update on the 20-gallon uh, long um, I'm running the Reef Breeders LED on that one too. So like and subscribe, guys. You guys take it easy and have a good one.